I am too! Hello, this is Massa Headquarters. Chris again speaking. Yeah. Oh, Mr. President, you're calling about the asteroid hitting Earth? <laughs> oh, okay. Alright. Thanks. Bye. <laughs> Hi, Kirsten Young. Do you have a moment to talk about the asteroid that's going to hit the Earth? Um, not really, because I'm super busy, but I can talk yeah. for a few minutes. What can right, I help you really with? So, what is your plan for the, how you're going to protect the humans from the asteroid? So, we are going to attempt at either moving the asteroid by rockets or blowing it up, either way is possible. And if we can blow it up to pieces, we will have no way of stopping the asteroids from hitting Earth. So, we have to build underground bunkers for everybody to stay alive. Anything else you would like to tell us about that? Just the fact that it's going to be 30 feet down, and the con the walls will be six inches wide or six inches thick of concrete, pure concrete. Thank you for your time, mm -hmm. Doctor Samano. Can you tell me about how you're planning to deflect the asteroid? Of course. Well, we know that the asteroid is going to come in an impact of 30 kilometers per second. Right now, it is going about 14 kilometers per second. That is not too close to us. Um, we have the first plan that we would call plan A, which is deflecting the asteroid, and it's going to intercept the path that it is going to kill us. Yeah. Okay. When you're talking about deflection, nothing can match the energy density of nuclear weapons. Um, nuclear explosives carry about a million times the energy density of chemical explosives. The device could be armed once they are out of the Earth's atmosphere. If you're worried about fallout, you know what that is? It's no. just the radioactive, Tell me. radioactive um, and it, um, like the after thing of the nuclear bombs that'll like hit us. Oh. So it's probably worse than the initial impact. Of the it's asteroid? Af yeah. Oh, that's that's great. Okay. Um. Um. So have no fear. The intervention can occur far enough from our planet to keep any fallout or explosion risk well beyond the biosphere. A rocket will be sent up into space once close enough to the target. A nuclear bomb or multiple bombs will be set off close to the asteroid. The blast would vaporize a thin layer of the body's surface. The hot gases produced would immediately expand from and rise from the surface, which will provide a concentrated kick or a thrust that would propel the asteroid away from Earth. So. Once the the nuclear bomb is set off, it'll get like a, a power, and it'll kick the asteroid away from Earth, changing the trajectory. So we'll be either safe or it'll blow up into pieces. Sounds great. <laughs> Social security number. I'm literally trying to save the world right here. Hi, yeah. can okay. I ask you some questions? Go away. <laughs> oh, okay, you're a reporter. I gotta go. Bye. Okay, sorry about that. <clears throat> How can I help you? Can you tell me about the underground bunkers that you guys are planning to build? Um, yeah, so I'm assuming you talked to our human resource manager, Krista. Um, but she doesn't go into a lot of detail. So. <laughs> I will dig a little deeper for you. So, our first plan is to get as many people as far away from the southern hemisphere as possible to move into the northern hemisphere. And we are going to build underground bunkers for them. And so, the first thing that we're going to make sure we have is irrigation. So we're gonna have water underneath there that we're able to grow plants and everything like that. And we're gonna have spots for our animals and we're gonna make sure that there's plenty of room for everyone on Earth to survive. But it's gonna take effort from everyone. So we're gonna have people from each state have a bunker and everyone from the state is gonna live underneath there. And we're gonna make sure that we have enough resources to last us at least a year to make sure that there's no chance of us getting harmed by the asteroid when the time comes for it to hit so once that time has passed we'll have enough resources to be able to restart the economy in case of fallout and radiation and lots of stuff from the atomic bombs we're planning to launch so did i answer 
Do you want to read it? How are you planning to put the whole entire world underground? So each person or each state is going to have a bunker underground. So that way not everyone is in one spot. It's going to be a little crowded, <laughs> but we're going to try to make it work. So you're going to accept everyone into yes. the ground? Yes, as many as we can. Okie dokie. Thank you. You're welcome. Dr. Hans, can I take some of your time to ask you some questions? Grissa, why'd you let these people in? Keep it down, we're trying to save the world. I am too! Well, I guess I can squeeze in some time for you to ask some questions. Well, an asteroid is made up of silicone and oxygen, is but this the doomsday is yeah. made yeah. faster than a bullet in approximately 3.7 miles per hour, which is 6 kilometers per second. Thank you for your time.